It is not enough to know ideas about God or to worship scripture, which is a thing, believe me. Uh, but we must know God as a living and active force in the world. We rely on God the Holy Spirit to bring us into knowledge about God the Father and also God the Son. So, but let us not forget that the Holy Spirit itself is a person who is also God. 1 John 4 through 8, it says, God is love. But what does love mean? It's an activity, a restless, ceaseless pursuit of his children. Hosea 11, 1 through 4 uh, spoke to me this way. God is like a loving father who calls his children, who teaches them how to walk, who takes them in his arms, heals them, leads them in kindness and love, lifts us up to his cheeks, and feeds us. Deuteronomy 7, 6 through 8. Here I put, God has chosen us to be holy to the Lord our God as his treasured possession. Now, I don't know what it's like when you treasure a possession, but, you know, uh, I think one aspect is you don't let it out of your sight. You keep it on your person because um, it's yours. His presence saves us. I like that one. He redeems. He lifts us up and carries us. Jeremiah 31.3 God loves us with an everlasting love. John 3.16, God loves the world. He does not want any to perish. He sent his son so that we should believe in him and have eternal life. Romans 5.6-8, God is willing to prove his love by having Christ die for us. Romans 8.35-38, nothing in the world can separate us from God's love. Galatians 2.20, God's love gives himself for us. Ephesians 2, 4, God is rich in mercy. He loves us with a great love. Revelation 1, 5-6, He loves us and frees us from our sins by His blood. The Bible testifies that even though mankind throughout all time have rejected God, He keeps pursuing and loving His children. Psalm 8, 89, I'm sorry, 1 through 3. Here God is using David to declare God's faithful love to all generations. He says God's love is established forever and is as firm as the heavens themselves. He calls us by name, even though we don't know him yet. He chooses a servant to put his spirit upon to bring justice to the nations. Genesis 12, 1 through 3, he calls Abram to make him a great nation, to bless him and to make his name great, to bless all the families on the earth. He sends his servants to his people to bless them by turning them from their wicked ways. First Peter 2, 9 through 10, we now are his chosen a priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, so that we may proclaim the mighty acts of God who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. We are now God's people and receive mercy. So God continues to call servants even today so that his people would know his love. How has God worked in your life? Who 
who are the people he's brought to you?